Howdy, Tommy from Tank Missions. Welcome to our shop. This is our first batch of fish out of quarantine. And I wanna tell you a little bit about why you should be quarantining your fish, why we decided to quarantine fish, and how we're operating here, because we're very different from your typical fish store in ways that I think is beneficial for not only you and our customers, but also even probably for other retailers. So I have these numbers behind us, 80% refers to the amount of people that get into the hobby and then leave within two years. 90% refers to the amount of people that get into the hobby and leave within five years. And the reason why people are leaving the hobby is because of unexplained fish, coral, and invertebrate death. They have mortality in their aquarium. They can't figure out what's going on. They're otherwise great hobbyists. They take very good care of their tanks. They're on top of their water chemistry. They're doing their husbandry and they're still having mortality. What we've determined is the reason for this unexplained mortality is that a lot of people have diseases in their aquarium, they have pests on their coral, and a lot of these things are hard to identify if you aren't an expert in aquarium keeping. Um, this number here, 95%. 95% of angelfish surveyed, and this, is, this isn't this is just one survey, this has been done many, many times in many different oceans. 95% of angelfish have gill flukes. Gill flukes is just one disease of dozens that we know of and probably hundreds that exist in the ocean. If you're not treating for these diseases, if you don't assume that every fish has everything, you're gonna get these diseases in your tank. And if you get them in your tank, it's really, really hard to get them out. 70%. 70% of aquariums we've determined, we've been taking data on the people that we take care of, have some kind of disease in their aquarium. Now these are people that have bought their fish from different fish stores throughout the years, and they've had their tanks for a while, and they've gotten something in their tank. Presumably other tanks have some sort of disease or parasite that we just aren't able to see because the fish's immune system is strong enough that they're able to keep it at bay. 25% of fish tanks end up with a significant mortality event. And we define significant mortality event as greater than 40% of fish uh, dying in the aquarium. And it's awful when this happens. And what's also terrible is that it's 100% preventable if you take the right steps. 4% um, refers to the growth rate of the hobby over the past 15, 20 years. It's the fastest growing sector of the pet trade uh, and that's all the more reason why we need to take the best care of our fish as we can. And it's also probably why there hasn't been a selective pressure for fish quarantine until the past couple of years. We're really starting to see an uptick in people requesting quarantine fish. People are starting to understand the different diseases that are pretty common in aquariums. And that's why we set up our store, because we see that there's a real need, a real benefit for there to be localized quarantine facilities to help hobbyists in their local areas. So these are the first batch of fish that came out of our quarantine. We're gonna be acclimating uh, another shipment of fish in today, and we're gonna continue to bring in fish and treat them. This is a pretty cool setup. So each of these 10 gallon tanks is hermetically sealed and isolated. Uh, so if you look here, we have, these are feed ports, and they are airtight with pipe dope. We can sanitize everything before we access the tank. We have, thanks to petroleum jelly, these lids are airtight. We pump the air into the filter, and then the air comes out all the way across the room to the other side. Uh, so there's no chance of, through bubbling, diseases splashing from one tank to the other. So we will put black mollies in each of these aquariums to verify whether our quarantine was successful because if there's any disease in the tank, a freshwater black molly that's never been in salt water will have no immunity to those diseases or parasites. It's gonna show up really well on their skin. Uh, we also have the ability here to quarantine existing fish in aquariums. So if you have a bad disease in your tank and you want all the fish taken out and treated and your tank to be run fallow before you add them back in there to make sure that you don't have any of those issues in the future, that's something that we can help. All right, thank you so much for watching. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. We got a ton of cool content. We're going to be showing you species spotlights and uh, the quarantine process. And we're going to be able to teach you all kinds of really cool, informative stuff that's going to help you to be a better hobbyist. Um, what else, Chris? I think you covered it all. Covered it all. Also, a lot of exciting stuff coming up in the future. Oh, yeah. 
Oh yeah, subscribe to Chris's channel too. Hey guys, thanks for watching another video. This is a uh, Tala butterfly. These uh, were highly endangered in Florida because, oh, there it goes. Because settlers uh, ate these plants and this is the only plant that they will lay their caterpillars on. Um, since then, Florida has made an effort to restore the Kunti and the Atalas have been making, well, there's two of them, a uh, really good recovery, but they're such a beautiful butterfly. Colors on them are gorgeous. Anyway, thanks for watching.